welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kariza Lohori I am South African and I currently live in Japan I am in Japan because of the JET program today we are moving on to another important thing of moving abroad which is making your statement of purpose it's more like a motivation letter of why you want JET program to employ you so when we look on this handout that they have given to us they are saying that essay statement of purpose it must be typed single-sided double spaced on a4 paper 210 mm times 297 mm and it should not exceed two pages this page limit must be strictly observed. This is an essay motivating your application to the JET program. Why should the JET program employ you? When I was applying for the JET program about four years ago, I used a guideline that I found on the internet by Tofugu. So today I want us to go through the guideline so that you can have an idea of how you need to write your statement of purpose. And I will also share my statement of purpose, but you must remember that your statement of purpose is your own personal story. Even if you see a good statement of purpose online, don't copy and submit it. They probably have seen it before. Or that is just not your personal story. Because now during the interview, when they start asking you questions, then it's just going to be impossible for you to answer because the story is just not yours. You won't be able to tell the story like the author of the story. So make sure that the story that you're about to write about will be yours and you will own it and you will tell it exactly how it should be told. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. This is my statement of purpose. We know that for everything that you start or before you can start writing anything, you need to have an introduction. So I just decided, since we don't have enough space, I just decided to write a three sentence introduction. And here it goes. I do not want to live an ordinary life. I want to travel the world, change lives and step out of my comfort zone. My curious nature gives me wanderlust for the unknown and I know that I will never be content until I pursue what my heart desires. Growing up, I always knew I wanted to travel the world, but I was uncertain of where to go until I decided on Japan. Jet wants to know why you wish to come to Japan and participate in the Jet program. After the introduction, now I started following the Tofugu guideline. Question number one, they are saying why you wish to go to Japan and participate in the JET program and why you are interested in the position for which you are applying for. Why Japan? Why not South Korea? Why not China? Why not Vietnam? And why are you applying to be an ALT? During my first year studying for a degree in Bachelor of Strategic Corporate Communications at the University of Johannesburg, I chose sociology as an elective, mostly because I wanted to understand people and their cultures at a deeper level. I realized that the only way to gain true understanding of a culture is to fully immerse yourself in it and so my ultimate goal is to immerse myself in the Japanese culture. Let me explain why I chose Japan. In my second year of university during my communications class, I was fascinated by the laughing Buddha. From what I read, Japanese people believe that his belly symbolizes happiness and prosperity and if one rubs his belly it brings good luck i was intrigued by their unique belief and my interest in the japanese culture was rekindled from that day onwards i wanted to know more about japan and that is when i came across the jet program 
For a year, I did my research on it and I prepared myself emotionally for becoming a part of this program. I wanted to take Japanese as my elective module. But unfortunately, it clashed with my major and I could not go on with it. I ended up downloading a Japanese app that taught me the basics of the language. You can already tell that I am owning this story. This story is my own. So if you have any personal story, everybody has their story. Just tell it the best way you know how to. Okay, as we look at point number two, they're saying, what effect you hope to have on the Japanese community and internationally as a result of your participation in the JET program. As we read further, they are saying that, what can you offer Japan? And me answering this question, I said, as an ALT, I aim to be a good cultural ambassador for South Africa. I want to teach Japanese people about our beautiful and complicated country. This, I believe, will also be a way of improving international relations and developing a relationship with Japanese teachers and students while embracing culture and language on both sides. From the research I have done, I observed that after school activities are considered to be very important in Japan. So I will make it a priority to assist students in these activities. And that will be a way of strengthening our relationship. Point number three, what applicable experiences, professional skills, relevant interest and personal qualities you have and how you feel this will be useful to you as an ALT or CIR. Basically here, they just want to know what have you done before JET? Anything interactive that you've done? Where did you volunteer? Here I said, I'm a member of IMSHI. IMSHI is a non-profit organization. And we give motivational talks and career guidance to students back home in the rural areas. When I'm home, we do this at least once a month. I guide children concerning real life issues or education matters. I also help my niece and nephews with school work because I'm very patient and I can see things from their perspective. I love children. And it brings me great joy when I see them prosper, especially if I know that I have contributed to their success. I've also learned that working with children requires someone who is patient and kind. And my whole life revolves around these qualities. Point number four, what you hope to gain both personally and professionally from your JET experience if you're selected and how participation will assist you in your future goals. They just want to know about what you want to gain from the JET program, both personally and professionally. And also, how are you going to promote internalization when you're done with the JET program? And what do you think JET can do for you? And I said, when I get, listen to this, when I get, I was already certain that I'll make it into the JET program. Even during your interview, when they ask you questions, don't say, if I make it to the JET program, just say, when I, the power of manifestation, they are also listening to you. They are saying that, okay, this person is showing confidence. When I get selected as a participant of the JET program, one of my greatest desires is to bridge cultural gaps and misconceptions that people have about Japan and vice versa South Africa. I'm very assured that my qualifications are relevant to this program and being part of this program is also aligned with my future goal of being a university lecturer and majoring in English at one of the Japanese universities. My proven adaptability and curiosity to new cultures, passion for learning more about the Japanese culture and flexibility makes me an ideal candidate for the program. And it will be an honor for me to not only be part of it, but to also invest in it. 
this is pretty much my statement of purpose and here we have some extra tips for the jet program statement of purpose by tofugu so i will leave the link to this article on my bio so feel free to view it and read more because this is just a summarization of what do they have written so they are saying don't be afraid to inject some emotion certainly don't go overboard but a little exposition about your feelings to what the opportunity of living in japan can help proofread 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 your work okay this looks more like what i've said at the beginning of this video if you find a statement of purpose example on jet program forums or blogs beware using it as a model the essay should tell the unique story of you and have your voice see how well the writer answered their questions but make sure you keep your statement of purpose true to you because this is your story own it thank you so much for watching today's video if you have any comments or concerns kindly leave them in the comment section and i will get back to them as soon as i can i wish you all the best in your jet program application i will see you on the next one